Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. On this Throwback Thursday, I'm going to use the Two A Wild Rose bundle. So that's the Two Wild Rose stamps and the Wild Rose dies. And I'm going to pair it with the new in colors. I'm using Sweet Sorbet and Parakeet Party. As usual, I usually bring in some of the old with the new. So uh, to do this card, I've got a standard card base. Then I've got a five and a quarter by four in the Parakeet Party. And then a five by three and three quarters in the basic white. You also need a scrap of basic white to do your uh, stamping and die cutting. And this is a um, two-step or three-step stamping card. So I've got a piece that I can stamp away on. Let's start with the rose. So I'm using the outline stamp and first value on the rose. And I'm just going to stamp it down. So we've got full value on the outline. And then I'm going to take the background and I'm going to stamp it away once and then stamp it away again and then pop it down inside the outline like that. Okay. And you could leave it just like that if you wanted to, or you can add a little bit of depth by taking the middle piece, the detail piece, and stamping it away once. And this one I always have to line up um, again when I use it to make sure that I'm lined up correctly. So there we go. And there we have the details. Uh, I've already cut out one set of leaves, but to do the leaves, I'm using a first and a second value. Uh, I'm not using a third value, but I'm doing first value in the outline. And then I'm doing second value in the leaves without the shading. So then I'm just lining up and pressing down. And again, the nice thing about the photopolymer is you can see when it's fully engaged with the paper. So then to run these through the, the machine, I'm just going to, I can actually close this one for now and put this off to the side so that we can actually see what we're doing here. I'm going to line up the die, and this one is actually super simple to line up because the flower has some very distinctive petals on it. So I'm just gonna line that up and pop a sticky note on it. And the same with the leaves, just gonna line them up like so and pop a sticky note on that as well, just like that. Then sandwich it all up and run it through the stamp and cut and emboss. And then we can build the card. Um, I was going to use the label die that comes with the set. I just, the way I wanted to do the flower, I kind of ran out of room. So we're just going to stamp the greeting directly onto the card. So let's just pop these guys out. So there's the one flower and I don't need that anymore. There's the one set of leaves and there's the other set of leaves. So just put all that off to the side. Now I need to stamp the greeting on the card front. And again, because it's a photopolymer stamp, it's super, super easy to line this up. So we're just gonna make sure we've got really good ink coverage. I'm just gonna pop this down. And this one with the font of the stamp, the middle is a fairly straight font. So it's, it's easier if you kind of line up with the middle um, as opposed to trying to line up with the top or the bottom. So let's go ahead and build the card. I'm going to use my stamp and seal and I'm going to add the mat onto the card base like that 
And then I can go ahead, if you wanted to dimensionalize this layer, you absolutely can. Um, I'm choosing not to. So just pop this down like this. Make sure it's even. Drop it down like that. So there we go. And now I just need to put my dimensionals on the leaves like this. So that's the rows and let's put one there and one there and then come around one there and one there. If you wanted to make a big batch of these cards, it would be super, super easy to just stamp everything um, and then spend, you know, put a movie in and die cut merrily away while the movie's on and then you've got all the pieces you need to build the card. So that's going up there like that. And then the one set of leaves I'm putting in so that the one leaf kind of overlaps, just like that. And then the other one, the one leaf is tucked underneath. So we get a nice flow, just like that. And what I did is I took some of the elegant faceted gems and I colored them with the um, blends. And then I'm just popping them on. Just I wanted the background of this card to be plain. Uh, sometimes I will run at the background through an embossing folder, but I really wanted this one to really focus on the rose itself, but it needed just a little bit of bling. So there we go. We've got a true friendship is one of God's greatest gift cards. Uh, throwback Thursday using the two wild rose bundle with the wild rose dies. So thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.